Today we're gonna go over a new add-on called Tree Designer, which on the surface looks like a typical procedural tree pack, but a closer look actually shows that it is actually a customizable system, built entirely with geometry nodes, no sculpting, no manual modeling, and just a modifier stack with parameters that you can adjust directly, which gives you a lot of freedom when making environments with lots of trees, which includes an asset library, of around 400 pre-built trees. I think this is a great deal. That's why I wanted to talk about it. The setup is lightweight and fairly easy to work with, whether you are creating quick outdoor scenes or even forests, because it gives you a lot of control. So without further ado, let's see what it offers. So, Tree Designer is a geometry nodes-based setup that lets you create tree structures using sliders and numerical values inside the modifier tab. The good thing, you don't even need to open the node graph and you don't need to modify anything by hand or manually. Once a tree is in your scene, you can shape it directly from the modifier, adjusting things like chunk height, width, twisting, and overall form. There is enough control to get a variety of shapes, from clean and symmetrical to more irregular and stylized. And because it is all procedural, you can easily randomize its structures or fine-tune certain individual aspects without starting over. The full version includes an asset library of around 400 procedural trees. This covers both high-poly and low-poly versions, and these assets are grounded by species from ash, birch, maple, oak, spruce, in addition to stylized options like bonsai and a range of other visual styles like anime-inspired and toy-like designs. All of these are included as assets and can be accessed directly from Blender's asset browser. You just need to drag the one that you want to your scene and it will be immediately ready to customize. They are not static models. Each one actually is a procedural setup. You can adjust it using the same geometry nodes modifier as if you built it from scratch. They are designed to be flexible starting points, not just locked presets. Once a tree is in the scene, everything is controlled through a single geometry nodes modifier. You can customize structures with a seed value, adjust the overall side, and change the number of trunks, and add or remove twisting. The tool includes options for waviness, smoothness, and other subtle shape variations, which can make the tree feel more organic or exaggerated, depending on what you're going for. Branch generation is also procedural. You can increase the number of branch levels, set their positions on the trunk, adjust length, and fine-tune orientation. There is also a balance between manual control and random variation, and you can keep the layout clean or let it grow more uneven if the scene calls for it. Leaf generation includes several mesh types, basic planes, cubes, spheres, or your own custom objects. Placement is based on branch structure and you can adjust things like density, spread, rotation, randomness, and size. There is also a flower system that has been included in recent updates, so you can define petal shape, core size, and distribution type, either scattered or clustered. Custom meshes are supported here too, which is useful if you want to use fruit or other stylized details. For stylized workflows, there is actually an outline option, and gradient control for leaves in addition to the ability to add a mission, if you need that. These features can be toggled or layered depending on the look that you're aiming for. When it comes to animation, Tree Designer has that too, which can be enabled directly in the modifier. The tree reacts with a subtle motion in the trunk, branches, or leaves. You can set the direction, speed, and looping behavior. It supports object-driven wind direction too, which can be helpful if you're matching motion across a scene. Fallen leaves are handled with a built-in particle system. For example, you can change the drop rate, fall speed, lifespan, and wind influence. The leaves shrink and disappear over time, which works well for loop background effects or animation shots. When it comes to performance, the system updates in real time. You can actually see the changes as you make them, and there's no need to bake or simulate anything. This helps a lot when you're trying out different variations or trying to quickly populate a scene. When it comes to UVs, they are auto-generated, but you can tweak them if you need that, like tile size, stretching, 
and preview overlays which are all available. Within the add-on also you get materials for wood, leaves and moss. They are procedural and flexible from what I can see, but you don't have to use them per se. If you already have a material setup, you can plug it in to use that too. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in this add-on and this library of trees, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.